Hi, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your April 16th to the 30th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps get this channel seen by the YouTube algorithm, and it helps me out tremendously. So thank you so very much for doing so. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Fantastic. Okay. So we're crowned here with the Two of Cups. This is healing, beautiful love coming into play, crowning everything. There's just a sense of needing to connect, of slowing things down, of really seeing what's important to you. It moves us then to the five of swords reverse. We have to remind ourselves, and this seems to be a big thing during this time, during the last half of April. We need to remind ourselves that we're not who we once were. You know, everything that we went through in our lives was to grow us, to help us learn, to help us see, to help us develop and become. And so here with the with the five of swords reverse, we're going to be thinking, oh, I can't do that. Because in the back of our head or in the front of our head, we might be saying, oh, I couldn't do that once upon a time. And it's like, yeah, I couldn't do that back then because it wasn't my time to, you know, it wasn't right for me to, but why am I negating myself now? Or why am I putting other people's negativity into my world? That might be their story and their truth. It doesn't have to be my story and my truth. So it moves us then to the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Now, we might be having money difficulties. It might be a little bit tight for us or things might be frustrating and they might not be moving forward the way that we want them to. This can also be difficulty with Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, if we have Earth sign energy in our chart. If we're born on the cusp with Taurus, this can come through quite powerfully. If we have Earth sign energy in our life as well, we can be having a little bit of difficulty with this. We want to move faster than things are going to be moving. It's going to be like, okay, hurry it up, hurry it up. Knight of Pentacles energy moves so slow. You know, it's so funny because they're the slowest moving knight and we're represented by the fastest moving knight. We like things to move fast, but the Knight of Pentacles is like, mm -mm, nope, it's going to move slow. The Six of Cups, things from your past are going to come forward. Now, this can be, this is actually going to be really in a very beneficial way. But for some of us, our past might not be as lovely as for others. So just be mindful about this during this time that the past does have a tendency to come up, but we need to take the beautiful things from it and move forward. We're going to be seeing ourselves really carefully curating during this time and saying, I want this, I don't want this. Now with the Queen of Swords reverse, this is us. Again, we're represented by the swords in the minor arcana. We are cutting through doubts and fears, right? But we can have such negative self-talk. We can also believe people who just say the nastiest things. Like we wouldn't believe them if they were saying this about somebody else, but because they're saying it about us, we're like, oh, well, they're, they're right. You know, I'm just not that great. Why aren't you that great? You know, why not start seeing you? Why not start embracing in what you want and what you desire and understanding that you're going to be negative and harsh on yourself during this time? Okay, fine, fair. Let's move forward. So it's kind of like, I got that information. I understand that information. I'm not going to let that information stop me. It brings us then to the sun reverse. We are on the cusp of greatness. We really are. It's going to be frustrating because there's the sense here of, I know something beautiful is supposed to be happening, but it's not happening yet. And it's like, oh my gosh, when will it happen? When will I get there? When will things move forward? And the sun is a guess card, right? And I always thought when it was reversed, it was a no. But it's not, it's a hold on. It's a not yet. It's a, it's not happening yet. So it comes through to us in the present moment of like, no, it's just not going to happen. And spirit is like, why isn't it going to happen? You know, why are you letting go of something that is so important to you? And it's like, there's something in your past that you have wanted. You're actually very talented at it, even though you keep on telling yourself you're not. It's not going to make you a lot of money right now, but it's going to be very healing for you to do. So if you start this, whatever this is, whether it's baking bread or, you know, dancing under the light of the moon, it doesn't really matter what it is. When you start this now, it's going to be very liberating for you. And it's going to be something that was deeply linked to you in the past. It's kind of like you defined yourself by this almost, right? 
So let's see what Spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a rain cloud in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced on Sunday. So hit the bell notification so you can be notified when the winner video comes up. So let's see here. Angels and Spirit Guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and Spirit Guides. This is beautiful reverse. We've lost the beauty in things. We could even you know, have lost the beauty in ourselves. And as Gemini energy, we need things to be beautiful. It's, it sounds silly and people will say, oh, that's frivolous. If you're born on the cusp of Taurus or you also have Taurus in your chart, that's going to be a huge part of who you are. The quality and beauty of things is just going to be so important. So just be aware of that. But here with Beautiful Reverse, we lost the beauty in it. We've somehow lost the plot. And Spirit is saying, come back to the beautiful. It doesn't mean that it has to be what everybody else sees as beautiful. It doesn't have to be conventional beauty. It has to be what you see as beautiful. It has to be calling to you. And that's going to be the most important thing. And it can't even be that we try to be more conventional. We try to be more like everybody else. And Spirit's like smacking their forehead, going like, what is wrong with you? Be the brilliant, beautiful, vivacious Gemini. Do not try to be anybody else. It moves us to our chakra energy, angels, and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Ooh, we have two here. So we have visualization and family. We can visualize the family that we want or the family that we have, the family that we want to move forward in. So that can be very important here. This is the root chakra and the third eye chakra. But visualization and focusing on what is sacred to us, as what is important to us, the family that we create, the family that we were born into, the family that cultivates and moves us forward, whatever family means to us, that's going to be important. And it's going to be at the root of us. Visualization comes forward here with the third eye chakra. And it's saying here, visualize, 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 visualize. Look at what it is that you want. Sit in quiet. I know we don't like quiet anymore. I myself am very guilty of it. I always have something playing in my ears. It's like, stop it and just let the quiet come in and start to visualize, start to talk with spirit start to connect with your inner self, your inner voice, and start to visualize your path forward. And you might be saying, oh, it's too late. I'm too old. I'm too this. I'm too that. We usually tell ourselves we're too old. It doesn't matter if we're like, you know, 21. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm ancient and decrepit. It's like, stop it. Stop it. You are just starting. You're just starting on your journey every single day when we open up our eyes. Visualize the path that you want to walk forward in. And now's the time to start doing it. You know, now's the time to start seeing ourselves. It brings us then to our energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. This is the Prince of Cups. This is emotional manipulation. This is our emotions getting the best of us. We can be very emotional right now. So do be mindful about this. Water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. We have other people very emotional around us that feels to be very like overwhelming. With the Prince of, of Cups, it's like you should move forward this way because I said so, because I want you to. And it's like, okay, Gemini, if your heart's not in it, why are you doing it? You know, so just be very aware of that during this time. If If your heart's not in it, you know, if it doesn't call to you and it's not like saying, okay, well, maybe I don't want to go to work today, you know, type of thing, but it's, it's that real sense of embrace your passion, let your fire shine forward. This is a time of healing. And this is going to be a time that's a little bit tricky because our past comes forward so powerfully and what we need to do. And one of the tricky things that's going to be important to do is to say, I take the beautiful things from my past and I weave it in to my present, but I am not who I was once upon a time. I am not, you know, the person who can't or the person who gets, you know, used and abused and left on the wayside. I am so much more. You know, I am not the failure. I am not, you know, all the bad things. We're going to think for one reason or another that we are all the limitations. And spirit is saying you're not. But the limitations come up because we're getting to this point here of the sun where we're like shattering expectations and breaking down barriers. And it's like, can I, can I, can I actually do this? And we're, so we're tested first. 
to say, well, you don't have to, you can, you can go back to being small. You can go back to, you know, feeling, feeling defeated. It doesn't mean that you have to have millions of followers and, you know, everybody knowing your name. What living a big life means is that we live a life in alignment with spirit. We live a life that we wake up and we feel joyous and we feel connected and we feel beautiful in. And it's again, reclaiming that beauty. And the Knight of Pentacles is saying, okay, you know what? This isn't going to be an instantaneous win type of time. We might find that we get wins and we're starting to move forward, but it's not going to be that big win that we want instantaneously. It's going to be a slow buildup and we're going to have a tendency to get in our way. We're going to have a tendency to cut ourselves down, to listen to things that don't inspire us, to listen to things that scare us, that lower our energy vibration for one reason or another. And spirit is really saying here, why? Why? We also forgot our royalty. We forgot our power, our connection to divinity, the fact that stardust runs through our veins. And it's time to reclaim us again. And that's what the last half of April is going to be, Gemini, is going to be us claiming us, seeing us, you know, rising out of the ashes, out of the battle, out of the darkness, out of, you know, the nonsense that has been, what, the last five, six years? And saying, this is who I am. And this is who I was always meant to be. And we doubted it along the way. And it's probably, not probably, it, it has to do financially with something. It's like either, you know, things got, got harder or, you know, whatever it is financially or what we value as much as money happened that threw us for a loop. But that's just part of our story. That's what makes our story interesting. Remember, the best stories aren't the ones that are, you know, the Pollyanna stories or the what is it called? Mary Jane, or I, I forget what it's called for a guy when every, it's not Mary Jane. I don't know. Um, where they're just perfect, right? They're just perfect. We're not meant to be just perfect, even though we would like to be. And even though television tells us we should be, we're not meant to be just perfect. It moves us to our subconscious spirit message, which is celestial. Okay. This is a time with such powerful Aries energy in it that we shouldn't expect anything to go really smoothly. And Celestial is telling us that we are more affected by the cosmos, by the movement of our stars than we, we, we ever thought. So here, be kind to yourself because, you know, the eclipse has affected you, the new moon has affected you, the, you know, the full moon, the, the everything in between, it all affects you. And it's not something that we think of. We think, oh no, this doesn't have any, anything to do with me. I'm this intelligent being of science. And like, yeah, that's true. But we are also beings here on an earthly plane. And we are all connected. And the energy is all connected. So let's let's know that celestially, we are deeply affected by things. It moves us then to our chakra energy, which is play, which is the heart chakra. Here's the interesting thing about us humans. We don't play if we don't feel safe. When is the last time you played? When is the last time you've had joy? And if you're saying, oh, wow, I can't remember, then it's time. It's time to look at the blockage in our heart chakra and say, it's time to play. It's time to have joy. It's time to embrace the beauty in my life. It's just time. It's just time. Nobody's going to do it for you, but you. Seriously. Energy to be mindful of, the eight of pentacles, you know, everything just being about work being about work, being about how much we have achieved, how much we had succeeded, you know, how to push forward, just always about work, always about, even if it's not about work, it's like, how can I be better? How can I achieve more? How can I push further? And it's like, when are we going to be satisfied? And that's a really great question for our world. When are we going to be satisfied? Our subconscious tarot message is judgment reversed. It's not about everybody else judging us. This is going to be a time where we judge ourselves really harshly and spirit is like why and this is about seeing ourselves and saying how do i need to move forward for me to stop judging to stop you know nitpicking and to start loving me all right all right gemini i hope this reading has resonated with you i wish you nothing but light love peace and happiness may harmony always be with you i'm sending loving healing energy to each and every one of you i love you all and stay safe Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. 
And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Gemini. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.